Just before these few videos dealing with the basics of statistics, we understood the formula of slope and intercept. We understood how to calculate slope using the formula change in y over change in x, where x is the predictor and y is the response variable. After this, we calculated intercept by placing the slope value in the line equation which is y equal to mx plus b. If you recall, in this example, we already know two corresponding points of x and y that are present on the regression line. But this approach of calculating slope and intercept is not so useful for real life example. This is because while doing any regression problem, we start with random points on the scatter plot. We don't know any of the points that are present on the regression line. So using these random points, we need some ways to make a regression line. This method to make a straight line using the random points on the scatter plot is known as the least square method. Let's go back to the example where we made a scatter plot for investment and profit for the year 2015, 2016 and 2017. In 2015, the company saw a profit of 9 rupees with an investment of 150 rupees. Similarly, in 2016 and 2017, the company made a profit of 10 rupees and 7 rupees with an investment of 200 and 100 rupees respectively. Let's move to R for looking at the scatter plot made from this example. The scatter plot made from the data would look like this. And as you can see, if we join these three points, we would not get a straight line. We need a way to make a straight line that goes in between these three points. And it has to be the best possible straight line that can represent this data. We have already understood the reason we want this line. Once we have it, we would be able to get the corresponding value of response variable that is profit for any given value of predictor that is investment. The way to make the line using these random points requires the use of least square method. The first step of least square method involves calculation of slope of the regression line. The problem is that we don't know any corresponding value of investment and profit that are on the regression line. We only have this data of investment and profit that make these three points. And we don't know if any of these three points are on the regression line or not. So we cannot use the slope formula that we saw in the previous video, which was change in response variable over change in predictor variable. To use that formula, we need to have two corresponding value of response and predictor that are on the regression line. So there is another formula of slope which is covariance between the predictor and response variable divided with the variance of the predictor variable. The value calculated using this formula represents the slope of the straight line that can be made using these three points we have on the plot. We already know from a previous video the method to calculate variance. Since we are calculating variance of the predictor variable, we would subtract each value of investment with its mean. We will then square each of the individual differences and add them up to get the variance of the predictor variable. For calculating covariance, we need to subtract corresponding value of predictor and response with their respective mean and then multiply the two differences. We then need to add up all the products to get the covariance between the predictor and the response variable. Let us take this data from the ongoing example to an Excel file and calculate the slope value of the straight line that can be made using the three points that come out of it. We will do that in the next video.